Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Mexican salsa roja. You know, that salsa that you're endlessly dipping your chips in at a restaurant or the salsa that you need for all your Mexican dishes. Well, by the end of this video, you'll know how to preserve this salsa and also the secret to the crispiest chips. You'll need 12 tomatoes, one jalapeno, one serrano, half an onion, four garlic cloves, 12 chiles de arbol, the juice of a lime, and one tablespoon of salt. To your blender, you wanna add your chopped tomatoes. You're also gonna add your chilies, onion, and garlic right on in. We're gonna blend on a medium speed for about 20 to 25 seconds. Yeah. And boom, done. Place your pot on a medium heat and add all your blended ingredients. Add your salt. Combine all your ingredients and place your burner on a medium low heat. Once you've done that, you're gonna allow this to cook for 10 to 15 minutes. The secret to a perfectly crispy corn chip is you have to dry out your corn tortilla first. One of the things that we tend to do is we just cut them, put them in the fryer and boom, done. But I find that by toasting it just a little bit like this, you remove the excess moisture and that gives us our crispiest corn chips ever. With the wooden spoon, a wooden chopstick, toothpicks, anything wood that's not coated, you're gonna dip it into your oil. And once you see the bubbles, just like this, that means that you're ready to fry. If you see smoke coming out of your pot, that means that it's way too hot and you're gonna burn your corn chips. Place your corn tortillas carefully into your oil. And I like to fry the corn chips in batches, okay? Don't overcrowd it, allow enough room for your tortillas to fry and move freely. And after about 30 seconds, you'll notice your tortillas are starting to get nice and hard. And as you can see, I'm flipping them periodically to allow room for them to fry, move around, and crisp up. And after about four minutes of frying, you're gonna notice that your corn chips are ready. You know, by toasting your tortillas before you fry them, you really do get better, crispy, crunchy corn chips. Sprinkle your desired amount of salt and go light with it. And I'm gonna continue frying the remaining corn chips while our salsa keeps cooking. Perfect crisp corn chips. I'm so excited for you guys to try my take on the corn chips. Please tag me and let me know what you think. I can't wait. Try that. Ooh. Mm. We just need the salsa. <laughs> we're, we're just waiting for the salsa, everybody. Mm. And after 15 minutes, you can turn your burner off. Remove your lid. And we have a beautiful, fancy salsa just like your Tia Cloud. Oh wow. Just perfect. Endless dipping. You know, you don't have to wait for anybody to come serve you again. Yeah, you can't dip you here, but you can dip in the salsa. <laughs> That's right. So once you turn your burner off, in order to preserve your salsa, you're gonna have to add a little bit of lime juice and this should keep it for five to seven days in your refrigerator. Now, if you need a little bit longer, you can add a teaspoon of vinegar. It'll slightly change the flavor to more of a canned salsa, but it's still gonna be really delicious. Um, so the lime is just to preserve it. If you're gonna enjoy the salsa today, you don't have to add the lime? You don't have to add the lime, but a lot of us like lime in our salsa, so I add it anyways. <laughs> it just works I'm out perfect. Yeah. <laughs> for example, if you're making this for your family from Mexico, do not put lime in it. Our Mexican family does not like the lime. They just like plain salsa. Give it to me hot. And you want to add the lime at the end, even to have this salsa cool down just a little bit more before you add your lime. That way it doesn't overcook it. Um, that's best. Okay. I know one of our cilantro haters is going to love me so much today, and I love you too. <laughs> but if you want to add cilantro, you can. A small <laughs> little bunch right at the end. Nicely chopped. All right, who's ready for a delicious taste? 
And technically you want to wait until your salsa fully cools, but since I'm using a ball little mason jar, it can handle the heat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let this set on the counter. I'm going to slightly cover it with a lid, not fully locked. We're not going to fully load this one. And once it cools down, that means that we're ready to place it in the refrigerator and we have salsa for the week. And you know what I say? And boom, done. And these recipes are great for when the kids get out of school. You can say you can snack on chips and salsa while dinner's ready. Yes, chips and salsa. You have onions, you have a lot of tomato. Uh, it's just perfect, you know? Let them eat the chips. It's corn chips. Margarita night. And chips. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You got me excited. <laughs> <laughs> I reached the age where you say margarita to me and I'm like, let's go. Let's do I it. don't want to do anything else today. The boys and I are really into watching the Babysitter's Club right now, and this is gonna be our snack. It's just beautiful. You know, it's nice and healthy. And then, uh, Punky's not too crazy about guacamole, so this is his. Will he put berries in that little compartment? He'd probably go and grab some blueberries, yes. <laughs> and uh, yes, I salted that one, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. And for him, he can't handle certain spices too well lately, so we just have a little bit and he can dip a little bit at a time. You're so sweet. And now I have to clear out the kitchen, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you, and we want to give a special shout out to all the grandparents that are taking care of their grandchildren so peacefully. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!